Hi, I'm Dee Solon. Welcome to the Magic Palette Color Learning Center. Today I'm going to talk about mixing colors using the Magic Palette Color Mixing Guides. The mixing guides come in two sizes. We have the personal guide. We also have the larger studio guide, which is great for the studio wall in the classroom. And this features over 800 mixed colors using 28 artist tube paints. And these are really important, popular, and useful paints. So this is a good list of colors to have in your paint box. The color mixing guides work on a very simple grid system. In the left column, you'll find what we call the dominant colors. And along the bottom, you'll find the mixing colors. So every color in this chart was created with just two artist paints. One dominant color and one mixing color. And it's always best to try to mix your colors with only two paints or pigments because the more pigments and paints that you mix in, the muddier your mix will get. So you want to try to use only two because that will keep your colors clear and luminous. So for example, let's say you pick this color as the color that you want to mix. So you follow the row to the left. In this case, the dominant color is cobalt teal. Then you follow the column down to the bottom and you'll find that the mixing color is ultramarine blue. So this target color was created by starting with cobalt teal and then adding small amounts of ultramarine blue in until you reach the target. It's that simple. I just want to show you a few little tips that I've discovered using the color mixing guide. The mixing guide has areas that I call color families. And if you want to create unity in an area, instead of using just one color, it's a good idea to add a variety of colors. It gives your compositions a richness that you won't find from just one color. So when you're painting, pay attention to the color areas and clusters of colors. Because in any section, these colors are all very closely related in hue. They're, um, they could be called analogous colors, but don't worry about that. I call them color families. Another tip is to keep in mind the idea of using dominant colors. Dominant colors, again, can add unity to a painting and help you create atmosphere. Let me show you an example. On this card, I've placed about seven paint colors, but I've added a little bit of yellow to each of the colors, and you can see for yourself how much the yellow ties them all together and creates a unity, and it also creates a feeling of light and atmosphere. It's a great tool for painting. Thanks so much for visiting, and I hope you'll tune in for the next segment.